Hey, Viral Community, Jeff here again on another thread. It is like we are having a roll here with these threads. So many are coming out and some of them are just like, I can't resist, they're fun. It's like, I can't, wonder if I can do that. There are some that I'm a little, having a little harder time that I maybe don't have a collection that leans towards that, but you know, the ones that I do have, I do attempt to do, because it's fun. It's fun to dig into this collection, try new things, support other channels also is a, is a benefit. So this is from Mike over at MGK Boston. He wanted to see 10 dudes with suits and ties. And of course, the uh, it could be females too, so it's not just a dude thing. Now, of course, my channel tends to lean more towards the, uh, you know, harder rock. And you don't find a lot of hard rock people in suits, I thought, would be harder. Now, I did see uh, Gus did his, and he showed a lot of, like, there were a lot of suits and tie imagery on a more extreme metal, but I don't have a lot of that either. Um, I immediately thought of some things in the more pop realm, which I do have, but then I said, I'm going to try to focus on the harder rock stuff. I'm thinking of the, the Billy Idols and I mean, the Billy, the Billy Joel's and the things like that. So, and the David Bowie's, which were, was mentioned, um, you know, as an easy one, uh, I figured Gary or somebody mentioned it, but, and I could have went with some of the ones like the kiss one which uh gary did i was like well i didn't want to copy that and there was another one that i wasn't gonna copy so i i, I was once i found about 12 i thought okay well i can do the ones that i haven't seen other people do so we're gonna go with that here's one nobody knows i'm sure here uh barnabas here the light so here's uh <laughs> the drummer here the band kind of started off as you can tell kind of on a punky type feel um, they were definitely more hard rock, but they were going for that punky looking attempt. And so there you go. Drummer's there with the uh, with the, his suit and tie. Um, I'm friends with him on Facebook still. He's out there, out and about, talking and doing fun stuff. Met him once. All right, and then here's one. Uh, the character on here, Long Way Back to the Moon by the Galactic Cowboys. We got Mr. Gas Mask Man uh, wearing his suit and tie there, so... There you go. Again, some things that you don't think about until you dig around. You're like, I didn't realize, you know, never thought about that. So how about some pigs and ties and suits and stuff? There you go. Generation Swine. Um, yeah. They're all finely dressed pork. There you go. Cool stuff. Again, one that I didn't even think about until I kind of scrolled through it. But um, and I'm, let me get the name of the album right. Please come home, Mr. Bulbous. King's X. That guy's got a suit and tie on Mr. Bulb Man. This big bulb head. Suit and tie there. Here's one that I, I, I'd kind of forgotten about only because it's not the original cover. So I didn't think about it off the top of my head. But Permanent Waves by Rush, the reissue. He's got the weatherman there. Um, he's got a tide that's blowing. Maybe that jacket is more of a windbreaker. It won't qualify as a suit. But hey, sue me. What are you going to do? Kick me off the thread? I don't think so. Anyway, little rush with the tie action going on there. And then this one I did see uh, Gus, I think, showed it. Gus showed it, but um, I've got a different angle on the Megadeth uh, you know, character there wearing his suit and tie. So that's the kind of stuff that you tend to see occasionally in metal. It's just some obscure things like that. Now here's one, and it never dawned on me until I looked at these two side by side. I need to look into this. If there's some kind of connection, are these concept albums? And I've totally missed it. But so first you got Elements of Persuasion by James Labrie, vocalist for Dream Theater. You got Mr. Suit and Tie there in the middle. Um, and you know, I've just listened to the album to enjoy it. Can't say I've analyzed it. The imagery on the front gives you the impression that there's something being said here, maybe. And I am totally I mean Dream Theater is notorious for doing songs with uh, meanings like that i am now i'm thinking after all these years i could be missing some deeper message than just some killer music by james Debris. because then the album that comes after that looks like the same guy doesn't it doesn't that look like the same guy same suit and everything same guy in the middle there i mean doesn't that kind of i feel stupid and somebody's gonna write back and say jeff i can't believe you didn't know that there was a connection but i need to look into that because i feel dumb that they look so much alike now that i pull it up all right, and then, all right, well, I guess it doesn't matter which order these are in, but Sweet and Lynch, you got Michael Sweet there sporting a nice suit and tie. You got George Lynch doing that. I assume the fellows behind them, likewise, are probably doing the same. So 
So we got a little sweet lynch action there, and that led me right into Striper's second coming with their black and yellow striped ties and suits that they had on. So yeah, cool stuff there. So there you go, 10 dudes with suits and ties. Easy peasy, I think anybody could do it, especially if you're not into some of the heavier music, you probably have plenty of it in your collection. So check it out, jump on the thread, support other channels, and I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.